Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these flower bugle beads dangle earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you have any questions, you could always ask me in the comments. I will try to answer to all of your questions. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I release absolutely free videos two times a week and you won't miss a thing. And you could help me by liking, sharing and commenting. And you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description, you will find a link to my second channel where I make fast clips to the most famous of my videos. And uh, in this way, you could enjoy the process of creation in just two, three minutes, see a whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, and you might also want to go and subscribe there for new inspiration and just to save time. And down there you will find the full list of materials, PayPal link for donations and link to all of my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use 8 o beads in red color. Two colors of bugle beads. These are 7 millimeters, silver and red matching colors with the 11 o seed beads. Here I use teardrops. These are ear wires. Monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of fire line. Some people use fire line with the bugle beads because sometimes they could cut through the edges. So have in mind that you might also want to use fire line for this project. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. The pliers are not obligatory, I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, so now I have my thread on my needle and I'm back. And what I'm going to take here is one bugle bead, one silver bead, one red bugle, one silver, one bugle, one silver, one bugle and one silver. Okay, this is what I have now on my needle and I'm going to slide it down. So I have four bugles and four silver beads and I'm alternating them. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to make a knot in the familiar way by making here a loop and going once and going second time through the loop I've made and pull. Then what I do is that I make one more knot just like this. Okay, and I have this beautiful square here. Okay, so I'm going here through one of my bugles and what I'm going to do next is take two seed beads, two silver seed beads, one HO and then two more silver seed beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting from this bugle, I'm going back in circle through the same bugle bead. Okay. And I pull and this one here should go in the center of your work. Now it doesn't want to go but don't worry it will go there at some point. Okay so now what I'm going to do is go through these two silver beads and also go through this red ato in the middle. Okay this is the thread path that I'm following. Okay. Now what I want to take here are 
three more of these beautiful atos and I'm going back in circle through this ato here in the center. Okay. So now I have this, you see, this is still not looking good, but we'll make it look good, so don't worry. So now in my next step, I'm going through this central red bead. And what I want to take here, guys, are two more seed beads, just like this. And I'm going back through this bugle bead. Okay, and I pull, now I have this, then what I do is that I go back again through these two silvers and through this red one. Okay, now when I pull this is what I have, then I go through this red bead, the following red, and I'm going to repeat what I did before. I'm going to take two silver beads and I will go back through this bugle here. Then I will go back through these two seed beads and through the red one. Okay, and I have this. Now I'm going here in my last red bead, but here you see I'm not adding any more silver beads because they're already there. What I need to do is go here around them and make a new thread path, okay? I'm going here through these two, then I'm going through the bugle. back through these two and through this red one okay like this and then i take one silver bead just one and as i'm exiting here from this red one red ato i'm going through the opposite one and in the same direction where this thread is pointing to and then I'm going to pull. And now guys, I have this, you see? Then in my next step, I will go again at the edge where my bugle beads are. Okay. I'm going through this bugle bead. And what I want to add here at the edges are more bugle beads, but this time silver ones, okay? I'm taking one silver and I'm going back here through this red one. And when I pull, you see what I have. I have it here attached. Then I go through this silver one and through the following bugle. Okay, and I'm going here, I'm aiming for the following bugle bead. And what I need to take is one silver bugle. And I'm going back through this one here, just like this. And I will do this two more times. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I will go through this newly added silver bugle bead in this direction. And what I need to take here is a red one, a silver one and a red one. Okay, I have this and I'm going through the silver bugle bead. Okay, just like this. Then again, a red, a silver and a red. And I'm going here through the silver. 
Okay, and I'm going to do this two more times. Okay guys, so now I have this and in my next step I'm going a red bugle and I'm going back like this through this silver. Then again going through all of those beads plus the silver bead, the silver bugle and I'm taking one more red bugle and I'm going back through it. And I'm going to repeat these guys two more times. Okay guys, now this is what I have and I'm going here through this red bugle bead in this direction. And what I want to do next is take one red, three silvers and one red bead. And I'm going here like this. Then again a red, three silvers and a red and I'm going here and I'm going to do these guys two more times This is the fourth time I'm going around and now I'm exiting of this silver, you see where my thread is. It is between this and this silver in the middle, if you don't see it. Okay, and I'm going to take three red beads and as I'm exiting through one of my silvers, I'm going through the other one. And then in this direction, you see, and through the first silver. If you can do this in one movement to save time. Okay. Now I'm exiting of the first silver. And what I need to take are three more red beads. Okay, like this. And I'm skipping the middle silver and going through the third one. And then again, I'm aiming for the first silver here in this direction. And then I pull. Then what I need to take are three reds going through the last silver. And again in this direction, going through the first silver. And I'm taking three. Okay, I have my tree. Okay, guys, and now the middle part of my earring is ready. Now I need to attach the teardrop. And in order to attach it, I'm going to take four silver beads. Okay, I have my four here. Then I'm going to take my teardrop I'm going through it and sliding it down to my work. Then I'm going to take three more seed beads. Okay, I have those three. Slide those down, skip uh, the middle bead and go through the next three seed beads. Okay, just like this. You see I'm skipping those three here, going through the teardrop and then through these three beads in this direction. 
Then guys, I have this. And what I need to take next is just one silver bead. And I'm going back through this red one, okay? Now I have this. And I will go one more time in this direction, reinforcing my work. If you're using a thicker thread, you might skip this step because your uh, teardrop won't dangle the way you want it to, to dangle. So this step is not obligatory, but I'll do this anyway with my thin thread. Okay. I'm going through here. Then in my next step, I'm also going through this silver and through this red one. Okay. Then in my next step, guys, I want to attach my ear wire. And in order to do this, I want to go in this direction through as many beads as I can. Okay, like this. And I'm aiming here for the top red bead. And you see where I want to exit. I want to exit through this red one that's in the middle between these two beads. Okay guys, and now I'm going to show you how to attach your ear wire. And I'm attaching it in this direction because I want this to be the front part of my earring. You see here at the back, I don't have this silver bead in the center. That is why I want to attach my ear wire like this. Okay, think about this when you attach it. And I'm going to take one silver bead, then I'm going to take my ear wire and I'm going to take one more silver bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And then I will go back in circle through this red one here. Okay, like this. And now I'm going to reinforce. Okay, and after I reinforce, I will find a place to make a knot. And how I'm making my knot, as I'm always showing here, I'm making a loop. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from. I go through the following seed bead. I could repeat this knot several more times, but after I do this, I'm going also going through the following seed bead. And then what I do is that I cut my thread. Okay guys, and my bugle beads flower earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my flower bugle beads teardrop earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will see a link to my second channel where I show fast clips to some of my videos. And you could watch the whole project in just 2-3 minutes and decide if you feel like making them or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, and you might want to go and subscribe there for a new inspiration. And I have a full list of materials and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, as well links to my own social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from